This is Titan, and these are lakes and rivers of liquid methane, the main component of natural gas. In here, it naturally rains trillions of dollars worth of gas from the sky. Titan is the largest moon of Saturn and has hundreds of times more natural gases and liquid hydrocarbons than all the known oil and natural gas reserves on Earth. Fortunately, the lack of oxygen prevents combustion in Titan, but if you accidentally mix its atmosphere with oxygen, you'll have an explosive fireball. If you try to put out that fireball with water, you will have an even bigger fireball because the O in H2O denotes oxygen. An even more strange planet is Jupiter. This is where diamonds as big as one centimeter rain down from the sky. This is because the massive size of Jupiter generates crazy amounts of gravitational force and pressure. Such enormous pressure and heat squeeze the carbon in Jupiter's atmosphere to diamonds. If you get hit by these falling diamonds, you will most likely die. The scarier thing is that a 26,000 mile deep ocean of liquid hydrogen rests beneath its surface. If you walk around Jupiter with a normal spacesuit for just two minutes, you'll get a lethal dose of radiation. This is HD 189733-B, the killer planet you never see coming. To the human eye, this far-off planet looks bright blue, but any space traveler confusing it with the friendly skies of Earth would be badly mistaken. Its winds blow up to 5,400 miles per hour at seven times the speed of sound, whipping all would-be travelers in a sickening spiral around the planet. And getting caught in the rain on this planet is more than an inconvenience. It's death by a thousand cuts. This scorching alien world rains glass sideways in its howling winds. The cobalt blue color comes not from the reflection of a tropical ocean, as on Earth, but rather a hazy, blow-torched atmosphere containing high clouds laced with glass particles. This is Venus. Its conditions are similar to Dante's vision of hell. It rains acid from the sky, and the surface pressure here is equal to being under 3,000 feet of water on Earth. The average temperature is 863 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hot enough to make rivers of molten material. An even more bizarre planet is Koro T7b. It rains rocks here. The average temperature on this planet is about 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which is enough to evaporate rocks and form rock clouds. Liquid rock or magma will then rain out of these clouds. These magma rains harden and turn into rocks before reaching the planet's surface, making rock rains. There has been only one successful landing of a probe on this planet. That probe died after just 127 minutes due to melting and crushing. This is Korod XO3b. A 200-pound man would weigh 10,000 pounds on this planet because the surface gravity here is about 50 times the gravity felt at the surface of Earth. 10,000-pound force will crush any human's bones.